equation 19 do the graph of the function and the function is defined like a piecewise function f of x is equal uh, the first piece is x plus 1 if x is less than 1 and the second piece is 3 if x greater than or equal 1 ok this is the solution for the equation 19 Okay, do the graph of the one piece y function. So we have two pieces. The first piece, let me call it y1. y1. Is equal x plus 1. And y2 is a constant function 3 okay let's do the graph of the each piece separately this is 1 here this is y and it said 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 3 comma 4 4 comma 5 and so on negative 1 0 negative 2 negative 1 negative 3 negative 2 uh -huh. Basically, this is a graph of the first piece. Me. Okay. Let me connect the point by the line. This is the line. Okay, the second is easy because it's a constant function, 3. So the y is a horizontal line. 3, 3, 3, always 3. In both directions. Okay, ready. Let me connect to the point. Okay. Alright now a transition point. And the piecewise function the transition point is in x equal one. X equal one is here. So I try to uh, draw a dotted vertical line. Split the plane in two parts. Okay. Now in this part we have empty. In this case you have full point. Okay? according to the equation because in the first part is less than no equal no, no include this point and in the second part yes it's x greater than or equal one okay now I want to do the graph of the piecewise functions so and the right part on the right part we have Let me use some more. Okay, is this part? In the left part, okay. So actually, the the red core represents the graph of the piecewise function. Okay, let me take a banish to analyze something, right? So for example, say I want to evaluate the function at 4 4 here x equal 4 the value is obvious this 3 
So I want to evaluate, for example, evaluate a negative 4. The uh, negative 4 is here. Negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 is here. The value is no, 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 in this direction. Here is negative 4. It's evaluating this expression. It's like a negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. The answer is negative 3. Okay. Um, I don't know, one more. F evaluate a negative 5. Okay, negative 5 is, this is negative 4, this is negative 5. Negative 5 is here. This is negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. The answer is negative 4. Okay, and this is the graph of the piecewise function. Okay, this is question 20. Again, let's do the graph of the function. This is the y function. Is f of x is defined like a first piece is minus x plus 3 if x is less than 2, and the second piece is 2x minus 3 if x is greater than or equal to. Okay, let's see the solution for the question 20. It's a graph of the y function. The first piece, y1, is equal minus x plus 3. Uh -huh. Let's do in the graph of this. Okay, y in a set is 3, 0, 3 here. Uh -huh. Now, for example, for x equal 1, 1 here is 3 minus 1 is 2 because the slope is negative this is 2,1 3,0 ok and so it's a linear function Let me try then connecting the point. Okay, approximately. This is my first. The second piece is y2 is equal. 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3. In this case, the y in a set is negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Here, the slope is positive. This is wrong is 1, right is 2. This point would be 1, comma, negative 1. Another point is, for example, 2. 2 here is 2 times 2 is 4, minus 3 is 1, so 2 is 1, uh -huh. 3 is, uh, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 minus 3 is 3, 3 is 3, 3, 3, so 3 is approximately here, okay, okay, those are ready. To do the graph, the graph looks like approximately that. Okay. Okay, now let's see the transition point. Transition point in this example is x equal to. Right, x equal to is here. I tried then to do the dotted line to split the plane between two regions before and after two. In this case, it's a coincidence that the first piece 
and the second piece touch in the transition point. This is a special case and what the function is continuous. Continuous means you can draw the 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 core without lifting the pencil from the paper. So in this particular example the anti and the full are exactly in the same place. Okay, let me use in then another pen to do the graph of the piecewise function. The, 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 actually, the graph of the piecewise function, so now the first piece, case y1 is equal minus x plus 3, is valid before 2. and not include it too. However, the second piece is 2x minus 3 is valid after 2 and include it too. So we have here this full circle and the rest is like that. Yeah, actually, the red core represents the graph of the piecewise function. Okay, let me take advantage and evaluate some point. For example, evaluate F, evaluate uh, a 4. What is 4? 4 is here. So you must go to the core in this direction, and this is the point. Basically, I using the second piece. So the second piece is 2 times 4 minus 3, 2 times 4 is 8, 8 minus 3 is 5. Okay, so this point is the point 4, comma 5. Uh -huh. Let's see, for example, negative 4. Negative 4 is here. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Negative 4 is here. In this case, I go in this direction. Approximately here and F evaluate negative 4 to evaluate negative 4 are using the first piece, not the second. So it's minus negative 4 plus 3. Double negative is positive and 4 plus 3 is 7. And this point would be the point negative 4 comma 7. And that's it. This is the graph of the piecewise function.